for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. Today's topic is my partner's best friend and I don't get along. What should I do? This is a situation that can happen fairly often, especially if your partner has long-term friendships. If you come in later into the picture and they've been friends with this person for a very, very long time, you're probably not going to win this argument. No matter how much you don't like them, they have got a loyalty towards that friend and they're gonna probably stick around through thick and thin. And really, so they should. Nobody should come into a relationship with demands of, of changing friendships or changing anything with their partner because this is something that you fall in love with them, you fall in love with all of them. Now, it's different if this person is unhealthy or toxic to be around. If you're noticing things when they're together that you see in your partner that you don't really like when they're together, like that something comes up or they, they're always home late, they, they're, in, they're drunk every time they come home, or there's all these sort of negative things that, that are happening when they're together, you can occasionally point that out because that is infringing on your partnership together. It's causing problems in your relationship. So you can discuss those kind of things with your partner, but I wouldn't bring up the fact that, you know, that person is horrible, that their friend is horrible, you just can't stand them. Because you're just gonna get them in a defensive place. Ask them if they can be at least considered enough to compromise on how often they get together. And if there is behavioral issues that come from being with this person all the time, then you're going to have to to really weigh this out and your partner's going to have to sit down and say to you what they're going to do about it because it's not fair if one of you is always having to sit back and take toxic stuff that happens when they're with this friend on a continual basis. Some long-term friendships can become a problem in newer type relationships or marriages. You decide to get married and the friend is no longer the best bud because now there's a partner involved. And this can cause some drama. This can cause friction. There can be like the third wheel situation going on where the best buddy girlfriend's coming over all the time and infringing on your together as a couple. It's really important in a relationship to listen to each other's needs and questions and, and concerns because they're probably not bringing things up just to piss you off because they don't like your friend. There is a concern about what's going on within that friendship and what's also pouring into you guys as a couple. So if it's becoming a big battle in your relationship, then you got to sit down and really listen to each other and find something that you can compromise about. I think that when you've had a person in your life for 20 years or something like that as a friend, you went to elementary school, high school with them, they're not going to disappear from your life. But you might want to look at what's actually going on that your partner and them aren't connecting. Is there a jealousy issue? Is there competition? Is maybe the other person not with somebody so they feel left out that they're not in a relationship? Whatever it is, it has to be discussed if it's becoming a problem. So this is why it's called a partnership, because you are listening to each other's concerns. You're listening to each other's desires and all those things that go with being in a, in a committed relationship. So if, if there's a constant like <sighs> friction or aggravation going on between your partner and your best buddy or best girlfriend, you really should listen because I'm sure that there is something valid in what they're saying that you might not be seeing it doesn't mean you have to stop seeing your friend just pick and choose times that might work better in the in the home it might not be going out for girls nights boys nights it might be just going for you know a hockey game or going and doing something like that and keeping it sort of more on the on the low key end in your relationship because unfortunately that's what happens when you end up in a in a relationship you've got kids you've got a home you got all your priorities have shifted and you have to kind of 
change up your, your format of what you had in your past during your high school days, your single days. You can't keep living exactly the same. Doesn't mean you have to get rid of anything, but you want to be able to compromise so that everybody gets along. And wouldn't it be nice if you could find a way that your partner and your best friend could learn to like each other? You're the middle person there. You're the one that's got sort of the, you know, the rope to sort of make this swing whatever way you want it to. So listen to what they're saying. Listen to what your best friend's saying. Maybe there's something about your partner that's causing friction too, that they're causing, saying things that you don't even know about. So pay attention to both sides. Come to a nice, happy medium and try and make things work out. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment, leave me anything, any questions you have that you want me to do a show on. I'm always appreciative to hear from all of you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.